And if you've been a Cardinals fan for any length of time, you're familiar with the remarkable and historic games over the years. But there are those who argue 1964 was the most exciting season in baseball history when the St. Louis Cardinals beat the New York Yankees to win the World Series. It's all here in this new book, 64 Cardinals, a team, a season, and a showdown for the ages, written by baseball historian Robert Tiemann and longtime TV and radio sports director Ron Jacober. They join us right now. Guys, thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Man, the, the timing of this is wonderful. you got Mother's Day coming up and Father's Day. You sound like a good promotion person. I know. That's what I'm trying to do, <laughs> sell your book for you. Thanks. Who came up with the idea for this one? Well, actually, the Reedy Press, the head man there, Josh Stevens. He's a great guy. He, yeah. He, yeah. he approached me and said, can you do a book on the 64 Cardinals? Boy, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, I can do that. See, you know, Josh's dad was a big fan of the 64 theme. But, uh, I mean, it was, you said the greatest year. It was the most unusual year in Cardinal history. Not because they won, you know, they won 11 World Series, but because everything that happened on and off the field, you know, the, the general manager got fired in the middle of the season, Bing Devine, right. after he made the trade for Lou Brock, and uh, because Gussie Bush was very impatient. Gussie didn't know much about baseball, but he knew about failure, and he didn't think they were very good. At the All-Star break, they were under 500. Yeah. With 39 games left, they were 11 games out of first place. I love the Lou Brock trade because it's either the worst trade in history or the best trade in history, depending on if you're in Chicago or St. Louis. Well, the funny thing is when they made the trade, I had a good friend in Chicago and he called me, he was laughing, oh, we got you this time, man. Yeah. You know, we got your best pitcher. Robert, did you sit through the series? Were you, were you there? I was, uh, I, I was at the one game, the game where Ken Boyer hit the Grand Slam, it's on the cover of the book. Yeah. I'm in New York, I was uh, living in New Jersey, my dad worked for Anheuser-Busch, so I was still a Cardinal fan, he, even in exile there. So. And the games here in St. Louis were at the old Sportsman's Park, the first Bush Stadium, right, right, right. number one. Yeah. And the book points out the untimely assortment of people and events that came together for this achievement, and uh, it, just, it just gelled. It really did. It, it did gel, and the thing that was fun for, for us, or for me, was talking with a lot of the guys that are still living from that team, and the things they remembered uh, it was uh, Mike Shannon hit a, he was a rookie, hit a home run in game one against Whitey Ford. And I said, tell me about it. He said, well, he threw me two curveballs inside and then hung one. And he hit it out of sight. At Sportsman's Park, there was the bleachers in left field and a big manual scoreboard yeah. behind that. And then a Budweiser sign above that, a neon sign. He hit the U in the Budweiser sign. I bet Gussie loved that. <laughs> well, Guys, the, I wanted to let, mention, because we're out of time, but you have a, a signing coming up on Tuesday, April 26th. That's at uh, St. Louis Public Library and then the Schlafly Branch. And then Tuesday, May 17th, St. Louis County Library, Grants View. Fantastic book. The, the pictures in there are, are phenomenal. Guys, you've done it again. It's another bestseller in St. Louis. We hope so. Thank oh, you. 